last night. It's gonna get you. It's quite cold this morning. It's really cold. I've been gone for 25 rounds. This is to learn my spin cycle. My main concern is I'm gonna have a heart attack. Or stung by a jellyfish. Or step on a crab. I'm not, I'm worried I'm gonna get I'll get eaten by a shark. My soul's out. But apart from that, I'm fine. My soul's out trying to hopelessly help the guys on the pedal boards. My vantage point of being out of my depth, stepping on the crab. Mm. I got slightly, I got the slight tug on my legs of a riptide, but of a current. What? Yeah, no, that's why I was worried. I said it yesterday, but you were talking so loudly, didn't you? So I get a little bit concerned that you get that sort of, like it snakes around your ankle like a... Oh, I don't want to go in now. <laughs> no, I mean, I absolutely don't. No, just go in where you see other people in. There's not going to be anyone in. It's they quite of ours. Everyone else is still in their the bed on their holiday. Anyway, we're doing a members live on the beach. We've seen it for the time. Oh, God. Do you know how every day we've gone out? We've gone, oh, my God, look at the sea. Look how beautiful it is. It's grey. I don't want to get in. It's really miserable. I don't want to get in on the day, the only day the sea's been ugly. Because of course the sky is very black. There's threats of there's threat, threats of floods today. Well, when we got out of the paddle boarding, uh, the woman said, oh, you're lucky you didn't get flooded. I said, what do you mean? I thought she meant like the paddle boards would flood or something. <laughs> she said they flooded in Truro. Oh, really? It's, it's definitely going to rain. Yeah, it's going to rain. I feel like my face has been, I feel like I've had a sack tied around my head and eight bumblebees have been put in it and they've look they've stung me in repeated places it does look i look like a sting victim sting. bee sting victim fat bees barn noon workshop it's fucking horrible it doesn't look inviting babe my scrotum just tightened seeing how cold it looks <laughs> <laughs> Just like the people next door heard that bloody part. Magic soul. She said, I could hear the man laughing after laughing at dance. She's the woman said, it was that you. And that said, no, it's the man next door. And then, and then, they were laughing when they heard you go, Mark. <laughs> It was a heck of a resonant sound. It's like something from the, It's like something from the film Nope. Are we seriously talking about getting in there? I'm not. This is freezing. Guess Matt is going to show you. Can you show me this guy? Oh my lord. Look, guys. That's over Zena. That's where me and Nan went the other day. No, it looks bright over Zena. Well, I'm on the coast This is rather astonishing. Graveyard subs. Mm, Lots of the local artists and fishermen are buried there. Mm. Mm, babe, there was beach here when we came at this time yesterday. Yeah. Where's the beach? Oh. Oh, there you go. oh look, there's someone in. Oh god. There's someone in, oh, which makes it feel like we ought to do it. Oh. It looks properly cold, Mark. Oh. That looks like the kind of cold you could have a heart attack. Oh. Or they'd be a jellyfish. You haven't got any towels. I have. In my bag. Oh, I might have a bacon set. If I get in the sea, I might have a bacon set. It's getting darker as we walk. Well, there's their permanent collection. This skyline here is good. It's because the natural width of the bay, I think, almost equates to widescreen cinema. So just to break the uh, magic just for a moment, oh look, we've got a visitor here. 
Mm. The bag over here so it doesn't wee on it. Yeah. We, we, just, we just had a visitor and the visitor just pissed on Nadia's bag. bag. Um, oh, here he comes. How are you all? Good morning, everyone. Good morning. We're going to kind of whisper. Yeah, we don't. She's not busy yet, but we don't want to look like assholes. We don't want a noise litter. It's, it's so annoying because today is the only dark sky day. So yesterday this was aquamarine, the colour of the sea was... It's a bit... Oh, it's there's rain in the clouds over there. Look, so can you beautiful. see it? Look, see it in the clouds there. There. Yeah. All the boy, all there's the so many dogs on this beach. Boy dogs and keep pissing it's near illegal us. It's illegal to have the dogs on the beach, and it's made to pound fine. But there's literally dogs everywhere. Well, not only is it illegal, but they're pissing on my back. Yeah. <laughs> I'm gonna get up. I'm gonna have a wet back. There's a there's a granddad down there doing squats with his We're grandchildren. Listen. Yesterday, when we came here, he was here at exactly the same time. He's got four grandchildren. And he gets the same spot, must be a really good spot, that spot. And he's got them all doing exercises, squats mm. and, and um, press-ups. Uh, this is going to be fun getting up. Can you get up? Can you pull me up? Come on, properly. Come on. You know a lot of these here, see those there? Those are art studios. Imagine being an artist in a garret, just there, painting. Right, here come the dogs. They've let the dogs out. Always makes me miss Toffee and Chi Chi. Isn't it you? I have a drenched back. Because in Cornwall, you can't, in the summer, you can't walk the dogs on the beach. Okay, there's loads of dogs here now, but it would mean constantly leaving them. So, my nephew's looking after them in the house. We didn't have Lee this time. Oh. Which is a shame because he was in there. Well, the ambition this morning, guys, was for us to go for a swim. What do you think? Mind you, the theory is, because it's not so hot, and you get in the sea, it won't feel so cold. Let me try it. Look how clean it is, look. Oh. Look how clean it is. Ooh. Huh? Cold? Cold. Pins and needles cold. Yeah. Are we going up to the chapel? We're going to try. We're going to see there. I'm going to keep you this way because the microphone works out there. Look. We'll take you all the way up. Do you want to go up to the chapel? So we're going to pass the family that are doing squats. And this is a sweet little chapel, which is on the little, it's like an island, but it's not an island, but it's the little kind of pimple bit off the coast. This is a really good... Let me go silence because we're walking past people yeah. and we don't know about this. Oh yeah. You, why are you happy? This is one of my favourite spots. This is one of our favourite spots. So we're going to stop for it. That there is the Tate, Tate St. Ives. This is where a couple were sleeping yesterday. Fast asleep when we came. <laughs> came early, they were fast asleep. March has said to me, why don't we try and convince the kids to come and sleep the night on the beach? <laughs> what do you think? I'd love yeah. that. Come at night, camp up, obviously somewhere safe. Uh, and then wake up in the morning. What do you think? Some drunk would come and wee on What do you think? Let like these people go by. What do you think? Just lift it up, shall we? Go to my Instagram after this and then see that photo. Bumblebee. We're going up you there. Just look at it forever, Sarkis, couldn't you? I took my really first ever did. steps on a beach on St. Ives. I wonder if it's that one, Beth Scammell. I got tearful because so many, I have so many memories of so many chapters of my life on this beach. So many. And it's kind of like, it's almost like, you know when you go somewhere, one place a lot in your life. It's a little bit like one of those fast cut montages in a film where you suddenly see 50 years collapsed into a second. This is where, this is where we proper chill out. It's, it, in fact, it's, it's beaches in the UK is where I properly relax. It's interesting. Because it was the same in Dorset. Do you remember when we used to go to Dorset? I'd just feel like yeah. the weight of the world had just dropped from my shoulders. Oh, it's so beautiful. I said to Mark, I wish we could, I don't know, get a camper van or something. And just camper van? Why don't we do a camper so van journey around, yeah. the, around the country? Oh my God, hang on, let me show you this. so beautiful. There's so much we haven't seen. Down there. And we've got a, ca a camper van vlog, says Creator Hollow. It'd be so good. It's so good. It's so good, wouldn't it? Yeah. Shall I stand by the edge? Don't stand by the edge, guys. This could be something like oh, this. Wow. No, it's only this big. 
Oh, careful, it could be an overhang. Look at the colour. It's a bit special. Now, it the took pole dark. I was going to say pole dancing. <laughs> uh, the most important note here, if you come to St. Ives, because a lot of people do this, is you get to St. Ives, and, and Nanny Dye's struggle with this, is it's this is the, this, you have to walk through St. Ives to get to here. I mean, you have to go through all the shops, past the harbour, through the wiggly streets. Those who know St. Ives will know that. But it pays dividends to get out this side, uh, because, well, certainly at this time. I mean, in the summer, I mean, look at the colour of that. I mean, this people is, go charging called, around the Mediterranean for that. I mean, the thing is about, about Cornwall, of course, there are so many beaches. So there's really busy beaches. So we, here we are in August, and the beach near our house is very busy. It's a huge beach. But you can, the space. Yeah. So the media will have you believe that Cornwall is hell on earth, but it's still worth, it's yeah. absolutely worth coming to. Um, because you like, and as well, get up early. Have you can have a good few hours like this without absolutely. many other people around. And then over that over that promontory over there is a place called Zena, which me and Nan were vlogging in the other day. It's lovely. It's got a little pub called the Tinner's Arms. You can go in there and have a rum and. Well, well, you were going to take me there for a half. Well, time. I was, but baby, you snooze, you lose. But anyway, come on, let's let's go up to the chapel. Let's go up to the chapel. behind Ned so I can watch her bottom. But it means sometimes I slip and lose my footing. Because <laughs> I'm co not concentrating on the rough terrain, I'm concentrating on the smooth ex on rough terrain. No, I'm concentrating on the smooth exterior. Oh, like funny. galaxy milk. I do not want to hear that. Like galaxy milk chocolate when you're opening that golden foil. Stop. Now. Ripple. Chunky Kit Kat. Oh, wow. look at the heft of that rock, See guys. See there, lad? That's all my land there. It's our land, Why lad. are you doing the Cornish accent? I keep forgetting to doing the Cornish accent. Getting higher. Careful now, because you're going to break your bloody oath. Oh, look. It's a wildlife photographer, or... Oh, no, he's taking readers' wives' photos. That's not very nice, is it? Oh, oh breathe it in. Breathe with us, one, two. You know what? It never, ever fails to succeed. Getting up early and getting out to the sea, does it? No. I mean, we were almost tempted to stay in bed today. I wasn't. That would have been foolish. Look at this. And look at the way wildlife just finds a way. I know. Look at this. This is like the burning bush in the Bible. Look, it's just like, fuck it, I'm gonna grow, it says. It just says, I'm gonna grow, I don't care. It's barren, it's windy, I'm gonna grow. A bit like my eyebrow hair. All right, turning you around. Oh, look at this, guys. I'm run you've got to sing it. I'm running up that road. I'm running up that hill. It's me, I'm Kathy, and I'm home now. Before yeah. and I was singing that and I was really, really drunk. Yeah, it was in the moors. Yeah. I filmed you coming out of the moors. Ooh, okay. Look at that. Wow. Bloody hell, guys. Oh. The beauty, the power and the peace of the sea. That's what I like. But out there... Mm. We are just amoeba to them. And for those arty ones here, anyone who's into art, obviously St. Ives is one of the oldest, most nautical sea artist communes by artists like Barbara Hepworth, Ben Nicholson, Peter Lanyon, Patrick Heron, okay. all these artists. They, they were inspired by the area because of the light, the shining light. Oh, if we do renew our vows, I want to do it here. I want to renew our vows here. Let's have a little look. Do it in there. Sorry, There's a window around the other side. Look, guys, it's the Coast Guard. There's St. Ives, the harbour. Oh, look. Is that a <coughs> there? there, that swelly thing. You know what the rule is, 
it? What was that? That looked like a. Is it a creature? Yeah. That's a cormorant down there. Oh, that's, swirly. that's a rock no, the there. There's, there's another there. one further there, out. Yeah, that's swirly. There. No, that's, that's a rock. Oh. Do you like that story, Zoe? It's nice, isn't it? We're going to hopefully go to Mausel in the next couple of days and we'll tell you the story of the Mausel cat and the stargazy pie. I love their tales. Do you want to have a look in the chapel? It's a bit sweaty. I think there's a bit of... Oh, you can't see nothing in there. Oh, look, there's a pew. Can't really see anything. Is it a pew? Pew. You know what? My favourite place to come to in the winter is St Ives. I know most people want to go to Barbados. Here is just beautiful. I'm going to end with a 30 second shot of the beach. So subs. Oh, can I do this one tomorrow? Oh, Nads. It's, it's, it's a bit too late, and there's loads of people here, and I don't want to see them. Nads, we've just done the members' live. I just want to do it tomorrow. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> we should tell ourselves what happened to us last time we were up here. What happened? We had a massive like epiphany oh, yeah. about our lives, and we were saying that. It's funny, isn't it, when you go back from here and I'll say, I, want, I think I want to just have a completely different life. I'm not sure that I want to live this city life. And, and, they go, and they say, as they do every time, oh, I always think that when I come back from a holiday, but then you get over it. But we were discussing, why, why do we have to get over it? Can't holidays be... A suggestion of something more. A suggestion more. of something different. Because we're all in the rat race. But just do, I, do we actually want the life we're living or are we living a life that we've been told is the best way to live life i'd like a smaller house i'd like less things but then get tugged to the other side of the world to the other options what, what? and your thing was there's too many options what, what, should like I be, hotel should resorts I be, in bali should i be sure striving for more mm. should i be wanting more should i be getting oh. more you know it's it's because when you've just been your whole life thinking about that, you know, I have to get secure, I have to have more, and there's got to be the pleasures for working that hard and getting more, you know what I mean? It's just a vicious cycle. And then you're just in a weird cycle of... Dog eat dog. Dog eat dog. Yeah, we came up here and we thought, we want a simpler life. We say it often, we want a simpler, simpler life. I could never stop creating or making stuff though, that's the thing. But anyway, we both came up here and cried our eyes, huh? Yeah, we did. Yeah. Let's go before we do it again. It was cathartic. I feel like it's coming again. <laughs> I feel a real sense of failure. We haven't gone for a swim. Didn't go for a swim. I had every plan to. Well, we could do. Oh, careful, babe. Do you want to do it? No, we'll do it another day. No, I really don't fancy it. Plus, all my bits are a bit sore from chasing the girls and rescuing them from paddle boarding. Yeah. No, fuck it, the coffee's decided. The coffee's decided it for Maybe me. We shouldn't put any of it in the vlog. Yeah, we're going for a swim tomorrow. Yeah. And you don't feel like you can justify it. Well, I'm not actually hungry. Right. I've still got the memory of the excitement of having a bacon sandwich, of having been hungry, having had a cold swim. I'm really pleased I don't like bacon. I don't like that you don't like bacon. It's weird. No, I just don't Even like bacon. Even vegans like bacon. No, they don't. Well, they like the taste it's of It's artificially bacon. salty and you can we feel it's like bad for you. Bacon, Mark. I know many vegans walking off the wagon because of bacon. Mm. <laughs> I love the way they've all got the double doors. Yeah. So you, so you could have... If you're looking for some of guys, there's a lot of these are from Aspects Holidays. I've never looked at their website. Do you think those doors are a hangover from sort of people standing and talking to their neighbours? Yeah. Wouldn't we do like that if I hired that um, room for that house and then everyone stopped to look at the advert? Yeah, not really. Aspects Holidays. Lots of cottages. All these hostels then. Hi, mate. We just met the forager. 
We just met him. We don't know he's a forager. He looks he, like a he forager. Like forager and he knew what the honey looked like. No, he said, he said, I don't know what's going on at those hives because they're down by satellite dishes. So that led me to think maybe they're AI bees. And anyway, so we bought some honey for your dad yeah. and for Kiki. Well, my dad, it's quite expensive, so it's a present. And a present for Kiki because Kiki adores honey. honey. Yeah. Am I living in Greece? No, no. The Cretan honey is famous. Yeah. Oh my God, it tasted so I didn't have any. Because don't forget, just the honey you're kind of sipping is just sugar. I didn't have any in Crete. I didn't have anything interesting in Crete to eat whatsoever. You did? I put it in your yogurt. What yogurt? In the Greek yogurt that you had with the raspberries and blueberries that had Cretan honey in it. Right. Anyway, we met the forager. back now and because we're so devoted to you guys we're going to be doing coffee moaning now oh, to you. what can you see i can see a couple right, of basically taken what would you say well a percent a recognizable a percentage, percentage of the beach <laughs> They're taking up more space than the lifeguard. Well, they've got, they've obviously got other people filming them. Talk about, look, but look how straight the camp is. Imagine if you lived in St. Ives and, and holiday makers came and did that right in front of where you would normally walk in and look at them. I mean, it's not They put a swag up as well. I think they must, maybe a, a group or a school or something. I feel like I just got out of bed. 
It was really odd being <laughs> driven slept, by a cabbie. I've slept all afternoon. Yeah, well, I, I, I lay under a, two hours. I lay under a table. But I slept. And just, and lay under, so what did you do? Did you get asleep? At, you got to sleep dead I just looked at no, the I underside of a table. table. I looked at the, the, the underside of the table. I'm trying to work out how he found Paul Squidden Beach. I'm just going to show you the uh, beach. It's beautiful. <laughs> Nice. Bring the kids now. Yeah. Now. Nice. There's the chapel. Yeah. Well, that's just beyond the chapel. Uh, just this side down. This side. Yeah. I've got you that top. It suits you. That's not you. We saw dolphins here, do you remember? Or a seal we last did, time? Yeah, was it dolphins time or a seal? We sort of, because it's a bit hidden away, this, didn't we? Remember, we came with all the family. Yeah, and we sat on that we're middle sat, table yeah. there, Mark. I've gone for. Um, God, that's good. Mm. A Christmas tree in there. I haven't had a nice cosmopolitan for ages. I had to keep out for the Christmas tree this Christmas. <laughs> <laughs> That's quite a good idea, actually. Yeah. Thank you, Madonna. Oh, All so in an inn, you're going to be so it. happy. Oh. This is delicious. That is the best. Mm. <laughs> Christmas tree. Better start making another one. What have we got here? Nearest me. Right, we've got Christmas good. Yeah. Ham nachos. Yummy meatballs. Garlic pizza. Tempura prawns. And avocado tomato salad. And ponzu macro pate. To you. Yummy, yummy. <clears throat> Number two. I've got a Christmas party, so Just I'm keep up. collecting the bits. So, You'll have a Christmas tree. And the trouble is, we are not already in the air. Not already what? We're not already in the air, so you know what's going to happen. Oh, There's the air. Look at all the air out right there. If I go out in that air, that air, it's not good. <laughs> Look, there's a couple over there playing piton. Oh my god, they've been so sweet. They're playing bat and ball. Is it called bat and ball? Yeah, the bats. Not a yeah, sophisticated, yeah, yeah, yeah. No, they both had bats and they both had a ball. So bats no, and ball. Bats and ball. Bats and ball. Bats and ball. Bats and ball. And this is the air hit you, yeah. I, okay, I think there's lots of different ways that you can go when the air hits me. Yeah. I can go very rarely these days, but I can go completely batshit crazy. Yeah, you can go completely like angry. Yeah, yeah, like a screw That's loose, actually very rare. You rageful, can't remember the last time I went like rageful when the air hit me. Yeah, I, can. I think today, how it's going to feel when the air hits me, I think I'm going to be swirling around and around. <laughs> well, you do that just generally anyway. The last time it happened, we, were, we, we had a really good night, four of us, and we went out, and I was like, I was doing this perfect thing of sniffing the air, and Maddie was screaming. Mum, why are you sniffing in the air when you know how it affects you? It doesn't matter. Sorry, there was... Oh God, he took it to fry the last night. You were going to tell him to put it back? Save the last beer. It's so mm. delicious. It's the best cosmopolitan I've ever had. Oh. Well, maybe he saved me a lot of hassle tonight. <laughs> Still playing the song. That looks nice. I've accidentally ordered an espresso martini. Which is quite silly because I've always had already had two cosmopolitans. Three. Three cosmopolitans. But it's only because I thought it would go really nice with churros. Oh my god, they're so hot and crispy. Mm, the churros like. Mm. Um, Tiki toffee pudding, clotted cream. Um, Honeycomb. Mm. Who is it tomorrow? Do you want to go for a smoke on the beach afterwards? And he said no. You didn't say that. You said. No. You said let's go for. Yes, <laughs> <laughs> clearly lie. I, I did said not. yes, but there's a lifeguard over there. <laughs> you went. There's a lifeguard there. There's a car park. And there's there. a couple playing <laughs> some pong. <laughs> he literally did say that. I was trying to work it out though. So go to your 17 year old self <clears throat> and if you've been sat with a girl eating churros and that's Ella and she said, do you want to come with snog down there? Would you come? There's a car park, there's a life park, there's a restaurant. Not if you'd said snog today. <laughs> Hit me. 
Well, hang on. Well, no, the air has literally hit us, but has the air hit you? We're going to go over to where that couple were playing Patonk. Or as Nadia kept calling oh it, Oh my God, long. look at the sea smashing against the rocks. I want to hear my Come on. Your 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 Come on. against the rocks. Look at her, she looks like the French lieutenant's woman, doesn't she? You right there, Nads? Quick! Yeah. Ah! This little corner is really pretty. It's a bit wet. Look, Daph Daphne de Maurier used to stay here. It's not miserable. No. But the thing is, he still goes to shops, he still goes to restaurants, he's still going to sea, like the waiter said. The temperature sea is exactly the same. True. So tomorrow is going to be our moment, Mark. Tomorrow we're going to swim in the sea. Oh, God, let's. Yeah, yeah let's just do it. Let's just do it. Let's just do it, babe. Let's just do it. Let's not do anything before or after it, let's just do Just do it. it. Oh, look, I'm going to come out here. Oh. Look, back all the roads down lead to the sea. Look at all the boats, Mark. Tons of them. Well, it's a harbour, babe. I know. <laughs> it's awesome, man. Oh, did you see how high those waves just went up over the other side? Oh, my God. Look, look. Wouldn't it be funny if we bumped into the kids now? Yeah. They're here somewhere having dinner. They're looking for the ice cream. I see the other day. We saw this guy was walking along with his ice cream and one of these came down and swiped it out of his hand. But it was funny because the guy's son was in the window. Shouted at him and went, Dad, you've been telling us the whole time, watch out for the seagulls. And the dad was so shocked it happened to him. Mark just spoke to Maddie because the kids were all out for a separate meal. 
and they were just walking along that bit of the harbour and apparently the waves smashed up and got mad. Apparently some people have been taken off, yeah. taken in. Oh my God! God. Did she love it? Yeah. Oh my God. <laughs> Go that way. Oh, look Woo! at that. It's so funny, isn't it? Sub? There's always water involved in our day nights. Yeah, There's always, always rain or waves. Yeah. So it's just making me go to the area where you get taken off by waves. Yeah, that's what I call it as well. <laughs> <laughs> we're going to go to that area. Yeah, we're going to go to that area. No, Mark, because then we're going to be soaking and then we've got to go all the way home soaked. I feel right. I think of it as a theme park ride. <laughs> park taking us down past the, the loose. <laughs> Look. Oh. Here we go. No, I don't want it. No. Look. Come on, Ed. No. Did you get soaked? No, we didn't make any Oh, no. I'm a bit scared, Mark. You go ahead. What if I get taken off? You go ahead. What if I get taken off? Well, well you won't. Well, you don't know there might be a warning here. This looks very dangerous. Mm. Look! I didn't see it just hit the subwoofer. You've got to stay on it. Jesus, it's so true. This is that thing. Whenever we see people have been whisked away, we go, what on earth are they? Doing down there. Oh, right up here. No. Mark, you get swept away. Do you want to risk me being swept away? No. Oh, wait. Oh, no. Oh, no. That's just silly. No See you later. Oh. No, no, no. I don't Shall want I do it? No. I want to do it. I want to do it. I just got the feeling. I want to do it. I want to do it. I want to do it. Can you see anything, Ned? Oh! Oh, <laughs> uh, uh. Mark, 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 this is what Maddie got caught in, look. What's look as it comes out? It's really great to be living there and having that crash in the windows. Run. No, Mark. Go. Go. <laughs> You're not going. That's it. Go. Quick. <laughs> oh. Whoa, quick. <laughs> <laughs> This is a little spot that keeps in Southern And they were having a really nice time. And then, as they said, then men arrived. Okay. Okay. 
ね。そうね Even though we're wet and water is a theme and all of our dates, a nice night. You had a good night. My legs, are, my trousers are whipping around my legs. They're so wet. Oh, it's my best day ever. Oh, look at that. So too wet for the rain. But we've had a lovely meal. We've had cocktails. We've had this hunk of man, and we got that best oh, day ever. And I've caught my own little mermaid. Yeah, oh. little mermaid, fleshy fish, flash flush. Fish. Can't say fish. No fish. Fish. Well, we can say fish for fuck's sake. Thank you.